If you would see this robot today, you wouldn't guess it was built in the late 1940s. The amazing thing about it is its simplicity. From a very simple circuit emerges highly complex and unpredictable behavior that most people would describe as lifelike. The creator Gray Walter even goes as far as saying that his creations display some degree of self-awareness. Though this is a very very bold statement, it's not hard to see where he's coming from. The robot was able to see via a very primitive photocell that could detect light. The photocell was attached to a rotating head. The robot used this rotating head to scan the room for a light source. If the photocell detected a strong enough light, the head stopped rotating. The key thing is this, the rotating head was connected to the wheels. So if the head stopped rotating, so did the wheels. And if the wheels stopped rotating, the robot moves towards the lights. So simple, but so clever. Now, what happens when it runs into an obstacle? Here the second sensor comes into play. The robot can detect obstacles via its loosely attached shell. When it bumps into an obstacle, the shell gets forced inwards, which activates a contact switch. When this switch gets activated, the rotating head begins to oscillate for a few seconds, moving from left to right, steering the robot away from the obstacle. In a sense, the robot retreats from the obstacle. This is in no way a perfect pathfinding algorithm, calculating the steps from A to B. It is random, it is unpredictable, but that's what makes it so interesting. This is it for today, I hope you enjoyed, if you have, please subscribe, support me on Patreon, I know this was a very short video, I'm currently working on the Pac-Man AI and it takes way longer than expected, but it should hopefully be out in the next few weeks, stay tuned and subscribe for that, thank you very much for watching.